Hello guys, we're here at an abandoned Rite Aid in South Plainfield, New Jersey. This looks like it used to be an Eckerd's, you can just tell. Like right here, they used to have like the circular sign. And over here they had the signage as well. Yeah. I don't know what it said over there in these uh, label scars right here. So I've never been around here. But this is the parking lot right here. That's my car. Let's check this out real quick. I'm only gonna be here for a couple minutes. Double doors, of course, are in the way, <laughs> which I hate. Can't see much of inside. I don't think any of the lights are on, but it looks like it, they are on from this uh, view. Sorry, I haven't been filming and uh, like, I haven't been consistently uh, like posting lately because, you know, stuff are, <laughs> some stuff I have to handle, so yeah. <laughs> I guess they used to have the carts over here. The little carts, maybe. And also here as well. They have uh, another entrance here. I didn't even see that. There's another one. Automatic door. go around this place the handicap reserve parking and this is the other automatic door take a peek inside I think I see something all the way on the left side I don't know what that is I can't see from this view because I'm holding my phone up. Sorry about the glare, guys. Let's go around. There's also a 7 Eleven that's here as well. And uh, the pharmacy, I believe. Yeah. And the auto center. In this corner where the traffic light is at Maple Avenue. <clears throat> I think this right it has been abandoned for like about since 2013. So probably about that's my guess. I forgot because I did some research on this place and I think it closed down like eight, seven years ago. There's a door with no handle. There's a light that's taken off here pretty odd there they had another uh, entrance sign over here prior parking authorized cars will be towed away in well don't worry because I'm gonna be leaving in a little bit <laughs> see what's back here they had a one hour photo door here a food mart drive through I wonder if the doorbell works. Oh wow, I hear it. It's like ding ding. <laughs> Food Mart drive through. This place still have electricity? Mm. Looks like it. dumpster area at least it's not too dirty back here triple panel there's some garbage here though it's the drive through Oh wow, this is where the, most of the action is. <laughs> I see some signage in there, it says since 1954. Where the hell is that coming from? 
I swear to God, those look like Burger King signs. <laughs> but if it is, that's so weird that it's in here. There we have um, Variety. Uh, Pill cup. I don't know what you call it, but I forgot. Yeah, the store looks pretty much empty except for this part over here. The drive through, they got some chairs here. What is that machine? Yeah, I swear to God, I think they put the Burger King stuff inside this because this is not what a pharmacy would have. <laughs> it's probably like a grill or something. Yep, that's my uh, prediction or idea. Yeah, look at this. They have like a criminal from there. Hmm, pretty odd. See that here. There's a door here as well. Right, let's walk around here real quick. Oh, there's a road over here with some nice houses. That's a nice house right there. There's another label scar. I think one of them said Food Mart and uh, 24 hour photo. But look at the state of the building. It's starting to like mold out and deteriorate a little bit. Just show you this view and I'll be out of here. Oh, this is probably customer service right here. Alright guys, um, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this. I did a little bit because of the interesting stuff inside the back. Weird to see Burger King uh, equipment back in there. <laughs> so. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.